everybody, it's Susan. We're in my studio today. I have a couple of things to share with you. <clears throat> and the first thing I've got is this package, and I want to show you this. Aren't those little owls cute? This is a package I got from Sharon, who, of course, is SM Scrapper. And Sharon had sent Jill a mini album that I just, I loved the shape. She got a new Sizzix die. So I emailed Sharon and I asked her if she would be willing to share sh some shapes with me and she was very generous and thank you Sharon very much for cutting these for me um, she cut me some out of several materials here's some out of recycled boxes you guys know I'm all I'm all good with recycled boxes doesn't hurt my feelings a bit <coughs> sorry about that it's allergies guys and then she cut me a whole bunch out of chipboard and then she cut me a bunch out of corrugated cardboard. So I'm going to have a ball with these. This is a die that I want to get. I don't have it. It's <clears throat> it's a new die and it's only available on Sizzix.com. So this is one that's on my, my must-have list. Aunt Sharon also made me this card. And she has stamped here in some uh, embossing enamel. It looks like maybe it's gold beauty. And there's some pretty fibers up here and there's a little butterfly and the flowers and the little tag says enjoy the journey and that's just really really pretty and there's a little fancy button under there and there's another one under here it's just really nice and then she wrote me a note on the back so thank you Sharon oh it's glittery up here it's just really pretty you guys look at the little beads those are really cool. So I really enjoyed that. And that, of course, is going up on my shelf. And then there was a mystery package in here. So I'm going to open it here. And she's done some fussy cutting on this. Isn't that cute? They're pussy willows. So I'm going to save that because I like that. I'll use that on something. Something somewhere sometime. And then she wrapped my little package of goodies in a real piece of um, a sewing pattern. If I can get it open here. There we go. See? It says upper sleeve. Oh, it's a Vogue pattern. And I will be saving that as well, of course. And in here she's put in a couple of flowers that she made. That's really cute. I've seen your video on these, Sharon, and those are cute. I really like that and I like the bling in the middle and there's a pretty lollipop flower and she's put it on a you can see there it's a baroque cut die cut and it says handmade flowers by Sharon SM SM scrapper those are pretty and then there's a little package here with little goodies in it let's see what's in them I see some I am roses I recognize those anywhere There are some of the I Am Roses, Curly Roses, and I really like these. That's one of my favorites. And some flat back pearls. And oddly enough, I don't have any of this kind. I should, and I don't, and I don't know why. So now I've got some. And here are some flat backs in the black. And those are really cool. So Sharon, thank you very much for your generosity. I promise Sharon I will send her back some goodies and I've been shopping again so I have I'll have some goodies to share I got these two spellbinders nestable sets from Trudy this is part of what I got from Trudy and this one is the labels for and I really really like this this is one of my favorite shapes and I got the lattice rectangles and those are gorgeous really pretty so thank you Trudy again and then I picked up the um, texture fades the Tim Holtz texture fades and this is the pocket watches and the steampunk set and this is one that I've wanted for a while and I finally just I got these at memory bound of course so I picked up this and also while I was at memory bound I picked up the sewing room I didn't have this one 
So I grabbed that one, and hang on here, I grabbed the wrong guy. Sorry about that, you guys. And also, while I, and of course, I got I got my dies that memory bound as well. And while I was there, I noticed they had just gotten a new shipment in of the movers and shapers, and they had the vintage cabinet card, so I had to buy it. You guys, this is my all-time favorite die. I don't know why. It's one of the simpler dies, but I absolutely love this die. So, now I have it. And I can't wait to use it. I'm just dying to use it. So, Sharon, you'll be getting some of these. And if you don't have the sewing room die, I'll send you some of those, too. And any other dies I have that you might want. And I broke down and I or and I got some of the Distress Stains. I got the peeled paint, the sponge sugar, and the broken china. Those are the three that I wanted to try first. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm gonna, going to try painting flowers with these. That's my idea for those. I'm sure I'll use them for other things, but that's why I wanted them. So I'll let you know how that works out for me. I'll probably have some videos showing me using them. So we'll see. And also in my shopping, you guys, while I was at Memory Bound, I had to pick up some of the Prima Trim. And a lot of you guys call this Frog Feathers Trim because you get it um, from Etsy. It's the Prima Trim. And I, this color I can stain. I can dye this with inks or any number of things. And I haven't bought this before, and I really like it. So I took the plunge, and I bought some of that. I also picked up... I don't know how well that shows up. I'll show it to you in pink, because I got it in pink as well. Picked up some more of this. And of that I got in pink and in black. And I got some basic crocheted lace. I really like this lace, and I use it for a lot of different things. So I grabbed some of that from the fabric store. And then I got some trims, and I want to open this one so you can see it. There we go. And it's um, clear rhinestones on a black backing, and I thought that was pretty cool, so I grabbed some of that, <clears throat> and I got this um, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see it. It's uh, pink and white. And then this one I was going to open because I don't think you'll see it very well otherwise. And this one is really kind of cool, you guys. It's like a leather strap. And, of course, it's, you know, a pleather strap. but And it's in this crocheted. Let me zoom in on that maybe. There you go. Now you can see it. I just thought that was really unique and I liked it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And what the heck. Let's open this one too. We've opened the other two. If I can open it without cutting it. There we go. <coughs> there, there you can see it. Isn't that cute? I thought that was really nice. So there you go. Those are my trims. One more quick share, you guys. Um, I made myself a new craft paint holder. And you can see here, they're just the same craft paints everybody else buys. And I made this with two of the wire doohickeys and just some foam core board and some ribbon. And I put that together and you can see, sorry for the mess, you guys. My studio is just a pit at the moment. But you can see that holds just a ton of paints. And I really like it. It's right above my work surface. You guys know I use a lot of paint for a lot of different things. So I decided to try making one of these. I don't know how other people have made theirs. If you've got one, show me how you made it. Because I don't know that I did it right. I mean, it works and I'm happy with it. But, and you guys, can, you guys can see the colors that I buy and I use the most of. There's the green, and there's all the blues, and a, a good share of browns, and then a little sprinkling of pink, a dash of yellow, and black and white. And then down here I have all of my <coughs> crackles, and metal primers, blenders, glaze, and varnishes, and then 
<clears throat> my metallic gold. For some reason, my metallic silver was like yucky. It was like goopy. I had to throw it away, so I'll have to get a new one of those. So, but I just wanted to share that with you quick and show you what I made. Okay. So that's it guys. Um, main reason for this haul or for this video of course is to thank Sharon, SM Scrapper, very much for her generous package that she sent me. I'm really going to enjoy those die cuts. And that's it guys. Everybody have a great day and thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. And we'll talk again soon. Bye bye.